check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. This person says this match only appears to a niche audience. Well, that's that's true. I mean, but, you wrestling know, fans I, I, <laughs> is that not, the niche not, audience? It's a niche of a niche. This one, but you know, to be fair, I mean, you were warned. I mean. Really, you went in this match thinking it was just going to be a straight wrestling match with holes in a cage? I mean, come on. The, th the thing, honestly, Brian, the thing that I was most surprised about was how much violence we got in the other matches. Well, yeah, we had that and plastic the angle, bag. The angle right before. Yep. Statlander and Willow pulled no stops in their match. They had just as many outside objects and violent things happening in their match as Swerve and Hangman did, really. And Daniel Garcia was busted open, like, immediately Yeah, in his match, if I remember correctly. So that wasn't the only one. It was a, a full night, all-out violence on Saturday. Not a fan of the needle or the plastic bag, this guy says. Hopefully they never do that again. The plastic bag. Oh, they'll do bag. the needle again, brother. You're upset at the plastic bag. Yeah, well, you know. Let's bring back a good ether rag. Ether rag. That's one of my hammer, favorites. Power bomb on... Thing, you know, I got to say one thing about the uh, show, which was Hangman trying to poison or drug swerve with a needle. No, he's just trying to stab him. That's what he's trying to do. And by the way, I was told from people in the building that when they use that piece of that that uh, piece of wood, that sharpened piece of wood from the burned down house, like we knew that because the announcers told us that. But I talked to people in the building, and they were like, "We all thought it was a knife." That's why they were freaking out. They thought he was going to stab him oh with a knife. God, yeah. what? Who, who is he? Big Al? Tank Abbott? Even even Big Al would have watched this match and went, ah, this is a little too much for me. <laughs> Must we? What, was was Hangman going to cut Swerve's beard? <laughs> I will say, too, I mentioned this at the beginning of the Brian Vinny show. If you didn't know anything about anything, you would watch this show and think, like, my God, this place must be dying. They're like, they're burning down houses and they're using needles and power bombs and ether or the uh, the plastic. Like, it's just like... This is the kind of thing that dying promotions do to try to get a, the last little bit of buzz, but it's not a dying promotion at all. In fact, in fact... Oh, let's get to the rumors, baby. Tony said he had not put pen to paper yet. That's what he said. I won't call him a liar, okay? But, I mean, I think when this show took place, like, they were as close to being the second most profitable promotion of all time as, as they could get. That that deal is going to be announced any moment. Any moment, I would say. He said good chance within the next month, but I don't know, man. I think within the next week or so we're going to hear about it. Well, I think well, it's going to be... my question, yes? Brian, What's is your question? What, what kind of shockwave are they ready to send throughout professional wrestling? I'm okay. sure you're going to get to it, but I can't wait. There is no chance. I shouldn't say there's no chance. I won't say that. Tony, they, they have... They have um, there's a shockwave trademark they've applied for. And if you read the trademark filing, like what shockwave is going to be used for, like if you read the terms that they use to describe uh, where it will be used, and if you listen to Tony Khan say shockwave, 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 I'm pretty sure they're getting another show. There's going to be AW shockwave. And this is my prediction for what's going to happen. They're going to get a... Very good renewal. What I mean, I don't know what the number is going to be. Part of the problem, especially when discussing this with people, is nobody knows what they're actually getting now compared to what they were getting before. So, like, whenever people throw around numbers like, you know, I'll bet they get double or I bet they get one. It's like double what? Double the original? Double what they're getting now? Double what they're getting with the one year? Like, double what? I don't know, D but. Double or nothing? I think it's going to be a big increase. And I think that what's going to happen is people are going to still say that they they did a poor job on this renewal. And they will also say, well, you're also getting a fourth show, so it's not as impressive as it seems. That is my prediction for how people are going to react to this. But I believe it's going to be a, uh, a healthy increase and a fourth show added. That's what I think we're going to get with this new TV deal, which is not a dying company, despite all of this crazy... Just craziness that we saw in this show. Well, where do you predict that this fourth show is going to go? There are a lot of rumors it ain't going to be part of WBD. 
So take your oh. pick. <laughs> Ain't gonna be USA. Tell you that much. Amazon Prime. I think it's gonna be a an over the air. I don't think mm. it's gonna. Be, I don't think it's gonna be any Amazon or anything like that. Is Nor it will it be Ion. <laughs> Is it time for the? WB? Pretty sure it's gonna be one you've heard of before. The frog. No, is we, the frog we, we learned back about the ta- frog to take out his old company. Yeah, the frog is gone. This person says, "Who is asking for a fourth show?" It don't matter if you're asking, brother. <laughs> if you're being paid for a fourth show, you're doing a fourth show. Uh, yeah, that's all. Tony Khan. <laughs> Tony yeah. Khan's asking for it if you're paying. Oh, him. you're gonna give me an extra forty million a year? Nah, I don't want to do a fourth show. You keep the forty million. That's not happening. Now, this person says, even if the gimmick chair shot is somehow one hundred percent safe. It's still a bad idea because it just burns everybody out. So I think what they did with the chair shot was, I think it was a combination of shaved down and also gimmicked so that it would immediately, you know, like just the metal part would go over his head and it would break apart. Still don't ever do that again. We don't need it. You could hit him in the back, hit him in the front. Could have jabbed him in the back with that needle and hit him in the back with that chair. Didn't have to break his skull open. So... I, I thought it was pretty that. sick. It was sick. What yeah, it was. but in an awesome way. Oh, stop. Well, I loved it. This person says, Nick from Reno, I could honestly do without the indie garbage. This is why AW's audience is eroding so quickly. Okay, well, two parts here. First off, you're welcome to want to do without the indie garbage. But the second part, this is not why AW's audience is eroding so quickly. It is not because they did a match with a syringe. I mean... There's, there's many reasons for what's going on. It's multifaceted. It's not one thing. And uh, and this ain't going to speed up the decline. I mean, their audience may be dwindling, but maybe their audience of the higher-ups isn't dwindling if they're getting more money, buddy. Yeah, they're making more money. They're doing very well on cable, even though they're down. Could they be doing better? Of course. Of course. Are they cold right now? Yes. Have they lost a lot of viewers over the last year? Yes. Are they still often number one, two, three on cable? Yes. So two things can be true, which people really don't like when two things can be true. They only want one thing to be true, but that's not the way things work. XPW (laughs) did a better needle spot years ago. Incorrect. Guy had a guy had a hypodermic needle put through his Jimmy. Oh, yeah, you ever good seen Lord. that? Yeah, mm. I good. did see that. Not good. I saw, I first saw it on the Pain Olympics about twenty years ago. The Pain Olympics. Yeah, I'm sure some. I'm sure there's gonna be some listeners that remember that one, but we probably shouldn't spend too much time on it. So anyway, the main event was incredible. This person says, "I understand if the match was unsettling for some, but you knew that it would be coming in. So if you don't like that part of pro wrestling, don't watch it. Violence will always be part of wrestling." Glad AEW leans into it. I don't think WWE... Of course they wouldn't do a match like that. And I could tell you there were people in WWE that were like, what are we doing here? But of course, you know, both sides do that kind of thing. What are we doing? But there was a lot of that. But said the main event was crazy. That was a brutality of violence to display. That's one way to put it. I also loved it. This person said it was the first time in a while I felt like we had a true alternative to WWE. That was the first time? And the shriek, Tom, made it cinema. The shriek. That other listener should watch Woman of Wrestling if they're looking for an alternative to WWE. This person here says, all out main event. I thought it was awesome. I also never want to see it again. Well, that's fair. Person says, uh, I thought the cinder block spot went a little too far. I also understand they shaved down the steel chairs to alleviate the impact. It's still a steel chair shot to the head. I will say the home angle sold me on the show. The the burning down the house was awesome. I will say that. I viewed this as a very predictable show other than the main event. Did you watch the house burning? No. Loved it. I did. I was I was at the Black Label Pro Combine, actually, at the time that it aired. Oh, yeah. I heard that, uh, was it Jordan just, like, smashed everybody? Uh, kind of. She won the female crown. Okay. I believe. And uh, for the men, do you know who won? You. You were in it. I wasn't even in it. Yeah, I don't remember. It was Jack Swagger, 
Madcap Moss, Moose, and Parker Boudreau. I will bet. Who are they again? Madcap. So, I predict Madcap. Madcap was the winner. And actually, I believe the next day, he and Emma announced that they are expecting yes, a child. They're so. having a child. Congratulations to them. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Quit doing those uh, combines now, brother. You're going to be a dad. Yeah. I thought he was going to blow through the ropes. Running the ropes in that eighteen foot ring at Black Label Pro. Oh my Could god. Could you imagine? No, I would not have done it if I were him. <laughs> I would need padding outside. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.